Today we'll be using Keynote, the version of it that's in iCloud, to try out the Magic Move feature. After logging into iCloud, we'll click on the Keynote application. And after that launches, we'll hit the little plus symbol in the top center to create a new Keynote. I like to use basic white or sometimes basic black because it's very uh, simple to work with. We're also going to go with a 16 by 9 widescreen rather than standard since most screens are that way these days. We'll get rid of the default presentation, title, subtitle, author, date. We want a clean canvas to work with. So after selecting those and deleting them, we'll go and choose shapes from the top center. Uh, there are geometrical shapes, but there's also shapes that uh, represent things. I'm going to type in school and choose some icons that would represent school as if I was giving a presentation about schools in a school. I realize that's a little confusing, but let's go with it. It's your presentation. I'm sure you'll be using different icons to represent whatever topic you have. Uh, we'll sort them out and imagine that we were sort of having these icons represent parts of our talk. Uh, and we want to show a transition from the overview with all the parts of the talk to something in specific. So we'd start off and maybe uh, there was a piece of the talk that was about backpacks, another one about the schools themselves, and a third part that was about graduation. I'll duplicate that slide. and minimize the two of the icons. So I'll set the opacity of the other two. I might not even change the color if I wanted to, but for this sample, I'm just gonna change the opacity of the two things that I'm not focusing on. And I'll have some text appear under the thing that I am focusing on. In this case, that's graduation. I'll click on the word graduation and change the text of it such that it's a larger size that it's uh, bold black uh, and is centered underneath of the icon. If I go back to the first slide, here's where you hit the almighty magic move transition. That is one of the key features that we have in Keynote that makes us want to use it. When we hit play, it might take a few seconds to load up to start the slideshow. Uh, but when that slideshow runs and we transition from the first slide to the second slide, it automatically scales the size, the color and transparency, and moves things around uh, to go to the second slide. Now let's do a transition back just to see what that looks like, as if we'd emphasized graduation and then gone back to our thing, uh, our main menu. And I set the first slide and the second slide to go to include magic move. And then it see, you see it seamlessly move in and out of that area. Now, here the word graduation appeared. Suppose we want it to move in and move out of the, of the picture. Uh, we could copy, control C, uh, and paste a copy of that on the first slide and set that word graduation just outside of the frame of the window. We'll do the exact same thing for slide number three. We'll paste a copy with control V uh, outside of the frame. And then when we do magic move, it'll transition in, in and out of the frame. Let's watch that. It'll move in and then move back out of the frame. So that's a quick introduction to Magic Move. You can use this on your Mac or you can use it on Keynote on iCloud.